Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. Two weeks from now, the summer festival will be happening in the village, and the club must meet together on this day and enjoy the festival. Oh. The summer festival? Really? I've heard about Japanese festivals like the Matsuri. Mm. We played the game of Silent Crisis together. She was definitely a pro at it. She knew exactly where the zombies spawned and shoot them before they could even attack. Huh. As we arrived at Sakura's home, how Sakura spoke. Roman? What's up? I think I have an idea. Just wait here a minute. We ran into her house and came back with something. It looked like a set nearly neatly wrapped of clothes. Here, please, take it. It's a bit small, but you can make it bigger with some touch-ups. I unwrapped the set of clothes. I couldn't believe it. It was a blue yukata. Mm. I chuckled for a second. For a, for a second, I thought it was one of her own yukata. Mm. I was laughing, imagining how I would look like in a yukata made for girls. I mean, she has probably a big brother who grew out of that. But it felt kind of strange. Whose Yukata is this? It looked like it's sized for her. Maybe it was her father's from when he was young. But it looks brand new. They couldn't have bought it one by mistake. We took the train to the city. We started our day out eating at an American fast food place because we were already hungry. American fast food place. Hmm, I wonder who could this be? Would be this this big M? This burger? Maybe it's the chicken. Was there with the chicken bed there? I don't know. Was there with the other ones? I, I know that the that the soup was not there. After that we decided to try karaoke. Ooh. Sakura's voice was absolutely mesmerizing. Damn! Damn! It's a noise! It's looking better than, than the original, let me tell you. I mean, the beta. <clears throat> yeah. You could be a famous pop idol, Sakura. Thank you, but I don't want to be one, though. Uh, why is that? Well... She hesitated a bit before replying. I don't think I... Like the lifestyle of a pop idol. Uh, yeah, can can imagine that. It's so much work, and you don't have a lot of time for yourself. Yeah, especially if you if you if you go to the, to this area era with uh, well, VTubers. Actually, oh, yeah, it must be rough. By the way, what would you? would like to do in the future. I don't really know yet. Maybe I'll be part of a symphony orchestra if I can. Do you play any instruments? Yes, the violin. Oh. I suddenly remembered. The violin I hear sometimes at night. That must be her. Ah, so with other words, we have the Omori here. At least it's not the piano. Or else we just uh, say, okay, don't don't go near any stairs, please. I think I hear you playing the violin during the evening from time to time. She looked down, kind of embarrassed. Oh, you heard me playing? Yeah, you play so perfectly. It's amazing. W why? W thank you. I hope I can watch you play someday. I'd be happy to play for you, Roman. I tried to sing the next song, but I was horrible, awful at singing. At least it made Sakura laugh. Ah, so it's me. It's literally me. Fresh no. When we were done, we headed back to the city's train station. Okay, Jesus, that was fast. I mean, it was fast because of the car. <laughs> it's a fair about to cross the road. A car, ignoring the red light, kept driving and almost hit Sakura. Oh, Jesus. Especially... 
you know those things are exactly for that one. You know that? And if you can't, and if you ignore, if you ignore those, well, you like you, know, you you don't like people. It seems then. I mean, unless you you like people when they are not living. Sakura so quickly stepped back, but Luz lost her balance. I was about to fall on her back. I managed to catch her just in time, and she fell into my into arms. Oh my god, this looks very cheesy. And again, just just think of this, but instead of 2D, we have their Friday model who looks lovely. Ahem, <clears throat> yeah, questionable. She looked into my eyes, and I got lost in hers. I'm stopped. As we stared at each other, we forgot all about the car incident. Roman? Sakura? Her eyes slowly shut, her face closed in, in on mine, her small mouth beckoned for something. It was her lips that seemed to be wanting for me, be waiting for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think she wants me to kiss her. I can't believe it. What do I do? I'm gonna save right now, real quick. Could you hear my heart beating loudly? It felt so loud. I was almost sure that the people around us could hear it too. Oh, that was very not very good. But no. This was it. It's now or never. My face slowly approached hers. Very slowly. I could feel her breath on my face. And the second my nose touched hers... She had turned her face away, completely embarrassed, and stood up almost immediately. I, I, I'm okay. Let's go home. Oh, someone wanted to tea there. Mm. Someone wanted that stick. Somebody wanted robot stick. Considering that I'm talking about the character in the game, and, and, and sometimes it's not very good when I make jokes like this. <laughs> When I have the character with my name in there. I mean, technically. I mean, technically. I mean, technically. Again, the sec The only thing is that she kind of looks like Yuri. But that's the only little... Yeah. The rest of her... Oh, it's... On the train ride home, I was in the complete those days. I thought she wanted me to kiss her. But in the end, she refused. Ah, oh, she wasn't ready there yet. She won. Her heart wanted it. But her brain said, eh. Sakura, stop. Damn it, stop being paranoid, Roman. Maybe it's just because it was her first time. She might not have felt ready. Felt kinda happy inside, though. At least it meant it means that she's attracted to me. I think. But I also felt just as confused. As we sat together in silence, I occasionally looked over to Sakura. She didn't look angry, but she seemed really embarrassed still. But most of all, she looked upset about something. She just sat there, lost in her thoughts, like she was profoundly thinking about something. Sakura was completely quiet along the way. I didn't know what to say or what to do. The atmosphere was uncomfortable. Suddenly, she broke the silence. Roman? Yes? I... I have something I want to tell you. What is it? I followed her as she entered the rice field. Walk to the rice fields, mother fisher! <laughs> Sorry. If you know the meme, welcome. The path inside was small, surrounded by big rice plants. It was completely desolate. There was nobody around us. Only the chance of the cicadas could be heard. This is something very difficult to tell you. Painfully difficult. This isn't something you might not even comprehend, but... This sounds pretty serious. I could feel a sort of anxiety building up from inside me. I've never seen Sakura behave this seriously before. I'm allowed to tell you this because I trust you. 
I smiled, but I was nervous. Y you can trust me, Sakura. You're my friend. You, Rika, and Anami are my best friends, and I'll never betray any of you. Never. Oh, good, because, oh boy, if you do this, then people will be angry, including me. Just think. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Do you promise? Never? Forever and ever. This time I smiled with a little more confidence. Gave a faint smile but reverted back to her serious face after. It's so hard for me to tell you. Besides my parents, only Rika knows about it. Not even Nanami knows. Everyone else seems to have just heard numerous about it. Or I'm sure at all. Oh. I was confused. What was she saying? What was she trying to say? Obviously she and Rika knew a secret. And Sakura was about to tell me the secret. I feel happy. That means she must feel I'm a close enough friend. And that she really trusts me. She stopped after walking a small distance from me. Facing away from me. Hmm. Okay, we have the silver. It's not good. Her body covered the sun. And I saw only her shadow in the distance. Roman. Do you remember the day when those fucks fox pulled me? Yes, I remember. Do you remember what they said to me? Yeah, I remember. They were trying to make you admit that you were a boy or something like that. Yes, it's because they, they guessed it. For some reason, they knew it. I... What are you trying to say? Roman? I really am a boy. What? what? Surprise! Big decisions. Huh, that's not the only big thing. <laughs> okay, that joke was dumb. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we're back. Yeah. You're a boy. You're a dude. You're a boy. You're a bro. My mind went completely numb for a second. I couldn't believe it. No, she couldn't be a boy. That's impossible. <sighs> Again, we are in 1997. Where the concept of trans people not was not really solidified. I think. Probably. I could be wrong though, but... Mm. But I think mostly just say, yeah, it was not really a thing, a popular thing back then. I started to nervously laugh to myself. There's no way it was just a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. No way. No, you can't be a boy, Sakura. Sakura didn't say anything. Say a thing. She suddenly turned around and approached me. If you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. You mean like... Look, look, or you mean like feel, look? She suddenly lifted her skirt up, showing me her panties. I crashed out of embarrassment and shock. I took a look around, but unfortunately we were still alone in the rice fields. Welcome. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't make this joke. I can't. I can welcome to the trans fields, Malaficia, <laughs> or something like this. No, I I can't. I can't. My 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 heart can't take. I can't make this joke for some reason. Oh, but actually, it's a good good extra. I tried my hardest to not look at Sakura and covered my eyes. No, Sakura, I can't look. This is just inappropriate. Please, just look at me. I peeked a little and could see her eyes intensely glaring at me. She was dead serious. But I slowly scrolled down to look below her waistline. She was wearing blue colored panties. But then I noticed that in her panties there was something. Something that shouldn't have been there. I know, I, I, I actually could make a joke there too, but no. Again, my heart can't, I can't make it. But the evidence was right there. I couldn't believe my eyes. 
But the truth was there. You wouldn't believe your eyes with 10 million fireflies. <laughs> Sorry. You're 3D, a he? I started to shake. So the cute girl I was following for school. The wonderful girl who was talking about manga and anime with freaking anime. The girl I was infatuated with for almost two weeks. The girl I was about to kiss today. That girl was a boy, a guy, a dude, a male, a pro. I stood there, motionless. You're a... You're a boy? I ended up shouting at her. I couldn't believe it. I hope best made her. I mean him. I mean her. I mean him. I mean them. A bit scared. Sakura stepped back a little. So, sorry, sorry, Sakura. I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I mean... Sak uh, uh, ah. I tried to make... I tried to make it... Uh, so it... So I, I don't feel weird. Okay, just saying. My mind felt like it split into a million pieces. It, it's incredible, you... But, you know, I... As I was reading my mind, Sakura turned around, facing the sun again, and he started to calmly speak. I was born with a very rare, well, I don't know if it's a genital disorder or something. Technically, I inherited all the chromosomes of my mother, but I got the Y chromosome anyway. Oh, it made me a very girlish boy. So courage that even my brain is one of a girl. What? I was a normal boy when I was young, but my mind and body transformed me as I grew older. I was more attracted by dolls than little cars, and I preferred talking with girls and playing soccer with the boys. When I was 11 years old, my dad started to get exhausted of this choke that changed inside of me. So he started getting me back into male stuff. He bought me outfits that and books usually made for boys. But as time passed by, he started to drink more. And his alcohol addiction grew. He started to become more violent. He even tried to cut my hair once. But my mother protected me. She has always accepted me for who I am. No matter what. That is a good mother. I can't help it. I feel like a girl inside. That's all. Actually, my father is really pissed off at me. My mother tries to protect me, but my father becomes crazy when I'm around. Mm. I nodded, taking in her monologue slowly, digesting the, her story. I didn't know what to do. My life must have been pretty rough. Growing up, but do you want to be a girl? No matter what everybody thinks and whatever your body thinks, you want to be a girl, and that's all. Bro! 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 No matter what everybody thinks, okay, yes. What your body thinks, uh, uh, that is. Uh, mm, I don't feel really. Mm. Uh, okay with the, with whatever your body thinks. That is just mm. yes, more than anything. I mean, I, mm, mm, mm. let's say I have no idea how to feel right now. Hmm. I thought for a moment, and I finally smiled and accepted it. After all, maybe she's a boy, but Sakura is still Sakura. Huh. Oh, okay. It's okay for me. Really? Yeah, if you're happy like this, then I'm happy for you as well. Sakura was still facing away from me. She still seemed a little unsatisfied. You must have some questions at least, don't you? Yes, you're right. I do have a lot of questions. It's scary how she can read my mind. She spoke softly. Go ahead, please. You're my friend. It's normal to have questions about this. And you have the right to know more. I calmed myself down a bit 
I gave Sakura a smile. Okay. So you prefer that everyone says she to you instead of, well, he. Yes. I see. All right. The problem of she and he is all solved now. It feels as confusion is already going away. Okay, good. We, we got the pronouns in check already. That's good. And well, what about your, um, your, 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 Double serving. What's the case? I had a little bit of burping too, for some reason. My body's also weird for some reason. Um, well. Hmm? Oh. Just a bra with some cotton inside. Oh. Oh. Why do that? I've always wanted to want to three uh, breasts. I would like to wear a bra. They don't look big as Rika's, but it's enough to make me feel like I have breasts. So you're in a cup? Oh, um, yeah, that's, that's good. Oh, okay, actually, also. In a, she's an A cup, but she wants to be uh, about a B cup. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, on the same subject. Have you ever thought about doing surgery? Hmm. Or HRT? Yes, I thought about it. But I don't want to. I'm too afraid of surgery. The way she said that. Sounded pretty cute, but she seemed pretty frustrated. Also, I hope that my, that, that, that boy means from... Hmm. Okay, actually, if I think about it right now, it's... Probably it's in the good way. Like, like trans from transition from male to female. Like, that, that there are extra boobies. Hmm. Oh, what the heck am I saying? No. It's a girl. I can't fall in love. Even if, he, if she looks like a girl. Bro. 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 If, if, if something in this situation, you know what I would do? Hmm. So I have now, I'm, I fell in love with a guy who looks like a girl. Or, well, actually, it's, it is hmm, it's partially guy and girl. Uh, mm, ah, mm, okay, this is, uh, mm, mm, I don't know what to feel right now. I, I, or I don't know what to feel and say at the same time. But in my p p position, I will just, hmm. Hmm. so, I mean, it, 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 it's a good thing, actually, in my opinion. So, hmm. I mean, you have someone who kind of is into maybe the same. Hmm, okay. Never mind what my brain is thinking. My brain is, is also confused right now at this moment. Even if she looks like such a wonderful girl who seems so fragile in the shadow. Ah, damn it. What should I do? I'm still confused. Please help me. What should I do? What are we gonna do? We just gonna. I mean, this. this is... No, it's a boy. I can't love him. I'm not gay. Mm. Hey. No. Yeah, whatever. Love doesn't have a gender. I mean, you fell in love of the personality, not about the body. Right? The body is just a plus. You'd like the personality of Sakura. So? <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a guy. So what? Who said that love can only work with the opposite gender? Yeah? Or with other, other genders, actually. I loved Sakura since the start. I desired her since the beginning. 
She told me that she's a boy, but I still love and want her. So be it. I love Sakura. Gender doesn't matter. I understand now why you rejected me when I tried to kiss you. Yes. As Martin started to come closer to her. As a girl, in soul, I prefer boys, boys to girls. Oh, okay. But I was afraid to break our hearts if I do this. She felt that I was behind her, so she turned around. I didn't want to lose my friend then. I don't even let her finish her sentence. I took her in my arms and kissed her. She tried to step back for a second, but finally she gave in. Her lips were lovingly un... but united. Yes, I love her. I don't care about what people say. She's a girl and I love her. I mean, she's... She's trans and I love her. It's as simple as that. Or... or ha. Ah. Brain not comprehending about what to say about this, but 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 it's but good. She stopped kissing, and Sakura looked me looked me in the eyes. I found myself swimming into the endless ocean of beauty her gaze offered me. Roman, S Sakura, we kissed again, but this time even more intensely. Oh. I felt my hands were running down her body. Her body was so womanly, so perfect. Her fingers were roughing my hair as she was held me tighter. Okay! <laughs> I don't want to what to feel, but I know something is, is in the good mood, girl, Dave. For some reason. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> whatever you're saying, Roman, it's... It's complicated <laughs> for your brain. It's in a good complicated way though. We stayed in the rice fields for as long as we were. For <laughs> We stayed in the rice fields for a long while. We just couldn't stop. Oh. Even though my head was spinning a bit from the situation, I still couldn't stop giving her my love. The sun began to set and filled the sky with a beautiful shade of orange as the evening arrived. It was getting late. I had to let Sakura return home. We held hands as we walked to her house. We were silent. There was no need for words. We were just enjoying every moment together. My heart was still racing. I was overwhelmed with joy. Sakura, suddenly Sakura held my arm tighter. I wonder what Rika will say when she finds out about us. Knowing her, she might try to kill you. Ah, <laughs> uh, probably, definitely, yes. It's kind of scary to think about, but it's a, it's it's probably true, especially um again um the Tokuro John actually was the name anyway. <clears throat> yeah, yes, please don't let her call Excalibur. In fact, I've always wondered if she was in love with me or something. Oh, she's Rika. She's the Rika I know since she knows my secret. Really? Huh, to be honest, she kinda scares me more now. Sakura giggles. Don't worry, I'll protect you. As we approached the front of her house, she dropped her head against my shoulder. I couldn't resist her touch. I took her in my arms and kissed her again. She softly kissed me back. When she stopped, she smiled, squeezed my butt. Oh, and whispered in my ear. See you tomorrow, sweetheart. I don't know what to fear. I don't buy his, even say this like that. Ah. Mm. Brain complicated. Brain confused. Brain so happy at the same time, somehow. <laughs> You're acting more like a guy when you do stuff like that. I don't know, what, but I'm smiling somehow. I, or I don't know how I'm smiling, but I don't know what to say because brain, brain confused. Hmm. Meanie. Okay, let's go, uh, Sakura or uh, Sayori. Hmm. She sticked her tongue out at me before disappearing into her house. I, I don't know what happened within me. I was. 
flowing with energy and happiness. I ran along the streets. I ran, I ran, I ran as fast as I can, overwhelmed with joy. I wanted to sing, I wanted to laugh, I wanted to dance. I felt completely crazy. I mean, understandable. You were, you are in love. You, you had your first probably kiss with someone you love. That is always a nice feeling. Well, I would like to say I, I know how this feels, but um, I had never felt that kind of euphoria before. Stop it, pray! Stop it! As I was running home, I passed by an enemy who was coming her back from groceries. Hey, Roman, what's cooking? I lifted her off the ground like a small kitten and spun with her around happily. <laughs> oh no! I'm so happy, Nari. So, so, so happy! Uh, uh, what the heck? Why are you so happy? You're crazy! It's because I. I put back Nanami on the ground. No, wait. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'll tell you at school on Monday on Rika. Monday? But that's too long. Now I really want to know. Patience, little one. Patience. Patience, little one. I can see running back home. Scare me. Woohoo! Out loud, I heard a scream from Nanami. I'm not little! <laughs> uh, my gosh, what a day. Sakura called earlier. I'm going on another day with her tomorrow. Oh. I was about to ask her out the date myself. Looks like she she beats me. Beat me to it. Maybe we can read each other's minds now that we are lovers. Anyway, I better get some rest. <laughs> 